Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to nine weeks today, yay, nine weeks, we're almost to ten weeks, which is double digits, which is cool, so anyways, let's just jump right into it, I'm going to try to make this video short today, um, but I doubt that will happen, so, um, first of all, I have a doctor's appointment, well, I'm supposed to have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, um, to, like, meet with my, well, with the doctor's nurse, and they, you know, do all the paperwork and the blood work and all of that stuff, and of course, Knowing my luck, <laughs> they called me to reschedule the appointment till next Tuesday. Um, but I am still able to do the ultrasound that um, was scheduled, um, which was supposed to be after the appointment. So I won't have my doctor's appointment, but I will have the ultrasound. So at least they can like give me a due date and tell me how far along I am. So yay for that. Um, so if I if my ultrasound would have been rescheduled too. I just would have been so irritated like I swear this type of stuff always happens to me but it's okay because the ultrasound is the fun part anyway so anywho um symptoms this week so I've still been feeling sick nauseous all that good stuff but it is I feel like it's getting better like I'm so excited because for like I don't know maybe three or four days out of this week I woke up and I didn't feel like extremely sick like, I don't feel 100% just like, ooh, let's jump out of bed and get going, but I do feel a lot better than before, like how I had been feeling. So that's like, that's really exciting to me. And so for the most part, it's if I haven't eaten any food, and then it's if I eat too much food, that's what will make me like start to feel sick. So I'm like really excited about that because you guys, I was, when I was pregnant with Milani, I swear I was sick to like 17 weeks. It was so horrible. Like just weeks upon weeks upon weeks of being sick with like no end in sight. That's horrible. And if you guys notice, I had Twilight, well actually this is Eclipse, Eclipse playing in the background last time. Like this is, that's my like ultimate favorite movie. It like comforts me. So when I like come in my room and like do whatever, go lay down or whatever, I'm like always watching Eclipse. I just woke up from a nap because I was super tired. Which brings me to the next symptom. Tiredness. I have been so freaking exhausted. It's not even funny. This is like my last full week of the quarter. So I have all this stuff I need to do. And I've just been so tired. Like so tired. Like I just woke up from a, like a two hour nap and I'm ready to go back to sleep. I'm not even kidding. I'm just so super tired. So that is really annoying. But hopefully after this week when this quarter's up I'll be able to just chillax and um, get some more rest and whatever. So... Um, but being nauseous and being tired are the two biggest things right now. And so I'm still going to the bathroom a lot, of course. Um, I have noticed now that if I don't get enough sleep, I start to get a headache. And of course, I won't take anything for it. So really the only thing that works is just like drinking some water maybe or taking a nap or going to sleep. So, uh, But it hasn't really happened that often, only a couple of times. And then lastly, my face is breaking out again. Ugh. I hate it so bad it's it's awful so those are my symptoms for the most part for this week oh and then of course the crazy dreams I don't know if I've mentioned this in other videos but I've been having crazy crazy like mad crazy weird dreams and so that's continued so now to food cravings okay before I was so sick I couldn't even think of anything to eat but since I've been starting to feel a little bit better there's a couple of things that have been like kind of wanting so first thing was chicken strips like I don't know I just really wanted chicken strips and so chicken strips and french fries and then I don't even eat that much because I'm my appetite still isn't back to normal but I've been wanting chicken strips which I had once and then um, one night I was really hungry and I went to get some burger and fries like I don't know if you guys have ever been to like LA they have that little burger joint um, in and out where I'm from there's something kind of similar to that and so I went to the similar place and um, got like this big burger which I've actually never eaten from them before a big burger a regular burger and then a fry and I was like let me try this big burger because I don't know I just feel like I might be feeling that you know whatever and so I ate about half of it and then I was like no I don't think so I'll just stick with my regular cheeseburger and so then I ate most of my regular cheeseburger and most of my fries but afterwards I felt so crappy like I, I was so mad at myself for eating it because it just did not settle right with me and I'm like what a fatty I don't need to be doing that I'm not that far along can be like I need burgers and fries and run into 
the little burr joint whenever I feel the need. So I made sure, for sure, that next day I went walking because I was like, there's no way I want to let this just sit on my stomach because that's gross. And then lastly, this is the last thing and the thing that I'm most feeling at, the t at this moment is Taco Del Mar, which is, eh, you know, Taco Del Mar is just so-so. But I, they have a Baja bowl with just like chicken or whatever type of meat you want rice and beans and oh my goodness like that just is so wonderful to me like I love the rice and the beans and then just a little bit of chicken mixed in there a little bit of cheese or cream <sighs> it's so good it's basically what they put in their taco or in their burritos but without the tortilla but it's better I, I loved it so I had that today I feel like having it again for dinner but I'm, I'm not going to so that's that for um my cravings so I don't know I guess I'm starting to get back to normal I'm craving food I'm enjoying it more so that's good and now I want to talk to you guys about books that I bought this past week well since I last made a video so I went to Barnes and Noble and I bought a couple books now of course everybody normally has the what to expect when you're expecting book and I did have that book but I gave it to my friend who just found who had found out she was pregnant um, before I did because I didn't need it and plus I've already read it so um, I decided not to get that book again and I bought two other books um, and so I'm just gonna do a little quick review on them so you guys know yay or nay if you're interested in some pregnancy books so this is the first book it's called the ultimate pregnancy guide for expectant mothers that's so crooked and I went through a bunch of books that were similar to this one and last minute I just decided to grab this one. I was looking at like pregnancy planners and that type of stuff where you can like jot down notes from your doctor's appointments and plan for this and plan for that and that's what I was more leaning towards and then last minute I just decided to grab this one because like I opened it and it has day by day um, information about baby and mom which I thought was cool so instead of just you know for week six or week seven you know it had every day and then for each month you can put like a picture your weight your mood um, your waist measurement and then on there's like a little checklist on here that you can go through each month and so I thought it was more interactive you know like read stuff and write stuff and whatever well when I got home and I really started going through the book it really wasn't as fabulous as I thought it was so first off it doesn't count your pregnancy weeks like the doctor counts your pregnancy weeks you know the doctor starts from um, the first or last day of your last period and with this book it starts from the time of conception so when you're saying I'm nine weeks pregnant it's actually saying you're only seven weeks pregnant because that's how many weeks the baby has actually you know been alive and get since it's conceived or whatever so that's kind of stupid to me because every other thought in my mind is saying I'm nine weeks nine weeks but then when you go to this book it's like seven weeks so that's one thing I don't like about it and um, it really doesn't have as much stuff as I thought it did as far as like um, planning and it doesn't have any room for when you do stuff like when you go to your doctor's appointments and like if you want to put down your weight and um, your blood pressure and all that stuff because I didn't do any of that with my daughter but I don't think it hurts to do it so I mean it does have some good stuff for like your birth plan and um, like a checklist it does and also has like a nutritional guide for foods and I mean so it's not horrible but it just wasn't exactly what I was looking for so that was the first book which I would give like I don't know 7 out of 10 and then the second book you guys don't think I'm crazy but this book right here great expectations you're all in one pregnancy worse resource for pregnancy and childbirth you guys like this is a mega pregnancy like freaking dictionary this book is freaking thick but it has everything that you could possibly want to know about pregnancy I swear to you it tells you how to make a will and do your life insurance it has of course the week by week information it talks about um it talks about everything so I'm not, obviously I'm not gonna read this book from front to cover but it's good as a reference point if you have any questions or whatever like literally I'm pretty sure I could find it in this book so so far this book has been good for me um, because it's just like it really has everything it even has like tips on how to tell your employer that you're pregnant and when to tell your employer that you're pregnant um, stuff about like how to manage your medicine cabinet with medications that you can and cannot take and blah 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 so 
yeah so this book I would say is much more worth your time and money if you just want an extensive like overall everything type of thing I don't see how you could possibly go wrong with getting this book if you have like a lot of questions about pregnancy because it has so much stuff in it I can't even I don't even know where to begin with like explaining how much stuff is in here so yeah that is pretty much it for me I have my two pregnancy books so I'm keeping up with these um the doctor's appointment well my ultrasound is tomorrow I'm gonna try to make a quick video um or something just as an update and figuring out what's going on oh oh I forgot this is the last thing I want to talk about <laughs> in my last video I was talking about whether I think it's a boy or a girl and names and all that stuff so I'm not gonna say this is pregnancy related but it probably is like my mind has totally flip-flopped from thinking it's a girl to like almost 100% it's a boy I'm not kidding you guys I'm, I feel very strongly now that I'm having a boy so I've even like registered in my mind blue like I'm thinking about things for like the baby's room and the baby's crib and all that stuff because I'm like feeling that strongly that it's a boy but I don't know who knows I guess we'll see in a couple weeks if my mind stays the same but with Milani I had a strong 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 feeling that she was a girl like no doubt about it and sure enough she was a girl so I don't know we'll see anywho that's all for me you guys I hope everybody's doing really good thank you to everybody who recently subscribed I love you all very much and I will talk to you guys after my doctor's appointment and if not then for a 10 weeks update all right bye guys